Hi gang, I'm here with the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. This is a 9mm carbine. They've had this gun out for a while as the pistol. This one that you're looking at right here is the version that features the Silencer Co. Uh, fake can that covers the 16 and a quarter inch barrel. They also have the unshrouded barrel that's available. This gun is named after the Scorpion that came from the Czech Republic. But as we take a look at this gun, I think you're going to find that really it's probably what a modern HK MP5 should be. So let's take a look on the bench. Okay, so when we look at this gun, I'm going to turn it up here and give you a chance to take a look at the top Picatinny rail. Uh, it comes with aluminum sights, front and rear. The rear sight has four aperture adjustments to it. Both of the sights have these serrations on the back of the sight, and this is to keep down glare coming off this as you're looking at this should the light be coming from behind you. The front sight, let me pull this over here where you can see that, the front sight is actually adjustable just like a standard AR-15 sight is. You put a tool down in there, it's got a little notch that locks it into place. The rear, as I said, has aperture adjustments from fine to fully open and this is also fully adjustable here as well so comes with a great set of sights there's no need to go out and spend you know a hundred bucks on a set of sights right off the get-go a couple of things I'm going to point out about this gun why I say it's like the uh, the HK MP5 let's first of all look at this cocking lever cocking lever is a non reciprocating lever which means let me take the magazine out here which means you can simply slide hit that over it's going to slam the bolt home you're ready to go when the gun is firing this remains in the forward position now unlike the HK the HK does this which locks and on the last round it does not hold open this however has a very unique feature to it I actually quite like and that is it locks open without having to be in the locked position so that means that when you push this little button right here it will in fact close the bolt for you and you don't have to slap this down makes it pretty intuitive for reloads now as we go through the mag release is here and it is an ambidextrous mag release so you've got it on either side of the gun here i really like that selector switch again ambidextrous easy to see both sides of the gun the trigger guard and the rake of the pistol grip are almost identical to an MP5. I laid my MP5 up here, and I mean, it was almost identical. So, it also comes with four sling attachments, one, two, three, and four. So you can sling this thing up nicely. A couple of things that they really innovated on this gun that I think are cool is the way that they've brought, flared out the front of the forearm so that it is accepting a suppressor. So you could SBR this and add a suppressor or permanently integrally attach a suppressor and only have to do one tack stamp. Now where they've really done some nice innovation here is on this butt stock. And what I'll show you here is a couple of adjustments. First of all, the length of pull on the overall gun is adjustable by this mechanism right here. If we want to fold the stock, we simply push this button. There's no up, down, push, pull kind of thing. Just simply push and fold. Now, if you notice this little shiny bit right here, it took me a minute to kind of figure this out. This is, in fact, a magnet that holds that closed right here. Okay, pins pulled, bolts locked back, trigger pack comes out easily like this as an assembled unit. Makes it very easy to clean. As you can tell, I have not cleaned this one at all but you take a look right there super simple compact really reminds me of the HK unit now to remove the bolt you leave it in the locked position as we have it right here put your finger in push the bolt to the rear and then as it starts to come up you simply guide it up with your hand like that I just put a little upper pressure on it and voila the bolt comes out as a complete unit that's it to field stripping this, folks. Now you've got everything out in the open where you can clean it, scrub it up, put it back together. Okay, reassembly. We put the bolt back in. 
push it down, let it catch. You take your trigger pack, push that in, push the pin in, drop your bolt, insert magazine. One thing I would say, gun came with two 20 round. It's kind of hard to see, but these are translucent, so you can see when you, in fact, have ammunition in these. Guys, this gun is a quality piece of entertainment. Before I leave you, I'm going to give you a couple more shots of some friends of mine shooting this gun and running it. This thing puts smiles on everybody's faces. Thanks.